it is time for Spain and the U.S.A. We're looking to move on to the ladies. We're ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do short intros then. From Spain, let me hear it for Elsa and Lily. Elsa and Liliana. Two-time Olympians out of Spain. Taking on the Americans, the brand new team out of Colorado Springs. It's Emily Stockman. And out of San Diego, California and Pepperdine University, Kelly Larson. Is that Tony Chan? Yeah, yeah, whatever, Tony. Oh, I don't want to wait for you either. No, don't play. Hello, don't volleyball play fans, and welcome back to Huntington Beach, California. We're at the FIVB Four Star Huntington Beach Open, presented by the AVP. I'm Matty Bishop, back in the saddle alongside Tri Born and Kame Schalk, and we've got an exciting matchup USA versus Spain on center court. Guys, this is the first one we've seen that's kind of a. Um, it's a very experienced Spanish team against a fairly new and, and kind of up and coming US team. Should be a pretty exciting affair here. Absolutely, yeah, we got a, a I think as of just a few weeks ago, maybe a new US team. Um, and uh, it's gonna be a good game. Spain's played forever together, so see, uh, see how this one goes. Emily Stockman from the beach volleyball hotbed that is Wichita State University. <laughs> from Colorado Springs, Colorado, which is, uh, I went to high school there. She'll take serve early. Kelly Larson, who I heard was just a beast yesterday. Yeah, she's playing well. The blocker in this duo, nice dig by Stockman. Larson, little joust at the net with Lilian, Lilian Fernandez. I'm sorry, no, that is Elsa Vascarizo. That's nice. right. Tough, tough names to say. That's nice a, pronunciation. Elsa Bacarizo, I think. I'm not sure. Um, so you got to roll your R's, guys. <laughs> Lily and Elsa. That's what Lily we and call Elsa. Them on I'm the down tour. with that. Yeah, that's what we called them. Stockman again. Big swing cross court. That works. Nice high and deep into the corner. Those are going to score. It's a good swing. This is one of those matchups we talked earlier in the day about how, you know, some young American teams are going to get a chance to earn FIVB points. This could be where one of those matchups where that really comes to uh, fruition here. Absolutely. Yeah, and from nice what shot. I understand, the top six teams, right? That top six teams from the U.S. are allowed to earn points. Everyone else I doesn't get any. Every other country gets points no matter what, though, right? Right. If there was, like, six Brazilian teams, it wouldn't matter. Right. Gotcha. But they have the country quota if right. that were to happen, right? I thought the qualifier was wide open in this one, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong, too. <laughs> hey, we're here now. Look it up, people. It's Friday. Yeah. Everyone's in. We're on Friday mode. Stockman at the service line. Just working on Fernandez. Nice shot. Lily took a good little peek there at the defender, Emily, and made a good cut shot. Emily had a shot at it, but just out of her reach. The Spanish team has played 101 matches together. I believe they've got two Olympic appearances under their belt, 12 and 16. Yeah, they're, uh, I mean, I think they just grinded away, worked their way up the rankings for years and years and years, and kind of goes to show, like, when you build chemistry with someone, you can, you know, take that a long way, and, and I think sometimes the long-term partnerships pays off in the end. You know, you trust each other a lot, and, and you know where each other are going to be. Kelly Larson serving there. She was, I believe, the youngest winner or part of the youngest winning team on the AVP Tour. Right. Betsy Flint. And then I want to say the next year, Sarah and Kelly broke that record. Another stat, I about right. another stat I need to look up. What do you think, Maddie? Well, I, I would, that sounds right, although I, it would be that, close. That was about, what, three years ago? Well, I was going to ask, was years? that the Cincinnati event that you got your first win in, Try, or yes. was that the year after, was it? Oh, that wasn't my first win, but uh, I won that apologies. event. Thanks, though. So. Where was your first <laughs> win? <laughs> Milwaukee. Well, Berlin, technically, but first AVP was Milwaukee. Nice block there. Lily diving into the angle there. It's a good read. Yeah. See what she does here. 
nice. See how she gets super low on her block? There's you know, many different ways that blockers will go. Some people will squat all the way to the ground. Some people will do about a half, half squat. But it's kind of personal preference, and each, everyone's different. Nice work from Kelly Larson at the net. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, hip flexibility. Definitely. <laughs> Some guys can't drop I mean, their butt that you're low. You're the kind of guy that gets nice and low. Hey, Tri? I get low. I got you, uh, I got those flexible hips. Like, I'm going up to approach. I'm like, where'd Tri go? Oh, there's Tri. <laughs> yeah. Blocks me. Cool. Dang it. Cool show and take. Yeah. That's a good shot off the net Trouble. there. Not a great set from Elsa. Lily comes up with the cutty. Yeah. Spain, the Spain team is interesting. They've had a lot of ups and downs, I think, throughout their time playing together. Um, a lot of really great finishes, and then they sometimes have, they struggle a little bit. So when they get in rhythm, they can beat anyone, I think. And uh, it's about finding that consistency, all, everyone at this level. So I nice see a lot of, there by Elsa. A lot of fire from that team, right? Yeah. That's when I picture them playing, I just yeah. think of a lot of fire, a lot of emotion. Yeah, Spanish style. On and off the court. <laughs> Stockman, nice read. They're also Spain, great play by them, but they're also kind of a team that they both can do all the skills. So they split block quite a bit. I think actually they maybe always split block, but um, they're both good defenders, good blockers. Um, you're going to see some teams, obviously, the Americans have, you know, Kelly blocking, Emily defending. Uh, most of the American teams have one and one, but there's a lot of teams in the World Tour that you, they're splitting here and there. Um, saves some energy, and, and it gives also the defend, the uh, siding out team a different look. Nice job on two there from Kelly Larson. Such a tough ball to stop. Just a fast on two into the corner. It's, it's, uh, it's a good play. Fire there, Kelly serving. She's a Pepperdine product. One of the uh, original beach players through Pepperdine. I know she won the ABCA national championship with them back when. Was the career wins leader, might still be. She'll be happier waves are rolling at the national championship. That's a good shot there by Lily. She kind of struggled on that first one and went right back to it. I like that confident just going back to what what she just had an error on and um, it's a sign of confidence for sure how big an advantage is it to Kelly and Emily to have to play against a team that's that's established that there's a good game plan against that there's maybe video against yeah that helps for sure uh, the tendencies are easy to see when when there's hundreds of matches played and, and most of them are up online and but uh, probably not as much of an advantage as it is for a team that has played together and has that chemistry and at the highest level too like we said earlier these girls have played in the olympics together so yeah it's it's kind of exactly both ways. sometimes when you're a new team it's, it's an advantage because nobody's going to play you right sometimes it goes the other way sometimes you see new teams coming and winning and then the next week they struggle because teams start to figure them out a little bit it's, yeah it's kind of such a randomness a lot so can only be new for so long, exactly. so you got to take advantage of it. Most teams, uh, nice set there. Most, most teams have a bit of a honeymoon phase where you're just yeah. super happy with each other, and there's no negativity, and um, you know everything is going good. And, and then uh, you know, a after a time, that kind of wears off, and then things get a little more difficult, and you got to go through some really tough challenges. And it's all part of the game. Partnerships. And Are you talking about marriage so right now, or, yeah, or volleyball? Yeah, <laughs> I thought this Isn't was kind of switching <laughs> over to marriage counseling. Yeah. <laughs> me, and, me and Cam are both newly married. Yep. It's time to get sauce. Yeah, it's. With bitchin' sauce. <laughs> what is bitchin' sauce, you ask? It's an almond dip, and it is the most bitchin' delicious sauce in the world. The official dip of the AVP. Swing by the bitchin' booth and get down on some saucy, saucy samples, samples and some bitchin' swag. Mmm, bitchin'. I did not change a word from that PA read. That is exactly how it's written. Oh, except, except for the, the beginning. The beginning, beginning actually says with an exclamation point. point. Bitchin', babes. Well, there you go. Get yourself some bitchin' sauce. 
Is it really good? All right, we've got some bitchin' saucy almond dip up here in the booth. This stuff's gonna be good. You can see it coming. Oh yeah, we're eating that up here. <laughs> Spain in the lead by one at the technical timeout. Kelly Larson with the serve. Nice pull and dig there from her. Oh, good pickup by Stockman. Oh, that set was Ooh. too tight. Elsa does a nice job to pull it up. Stockman gonna get the chance for the point. Uh-oh. Not a great set oh. and just missed. What a long rally. That was that was a good rally. Unfortunate finish there. You don't want to end it on an yeah. er erred set, couple, especially with a good pass coming from Stockman out of the back of the court. A couple tough sets in that rally, and that's the time when you know, you're tired, you're pushing through a rally, you got to take that breath, you got to relax and use your legs and just get that ball up. It doesn't have to be a perfect set, but just give your partner a chance to give a swing, and that's, uh, that can be the difference between winning that rally and losing that rally. Yeah, we all know those long rallies where your legs are just burning and giving exactly. out on you, and it's just one point at a time. Yeah, who's Obviously gonna give up first? Said than done, but. Right. Well, what an up. Lily I Fernandez, like that. and then a nice on two play from Kelly yeah, Larson. It's a big side out. He's, check out this replay. Stockman, a lot of intention behind this pass right here. You see her kind of finish it up into the wind, leave it up there for Stockman. I like that. And yep. then she kind of was going to spread the court if she was to get the set. Nice set by Emily Stockman. It's apparently how they do it in Colorado Springs and Wichita State. Emily and Kelly are doing a good job serving right now. Spain's been off the net the last few times. Nice pick up on the cut shot. It's at the pulling blocker, not enough to put it away. And a nice swing by Elsa. I like to see him get a little bit better swing out of that transition. You know, blockers shouldn't be able to drop and dig it that easily. Definitely felt like that. definitely felt like a missed opportunity there. Yeah. They had him. Kelly Larson. Oh, sweet shot. Great shot. Nice high reach by Kelly. Making it look easy. You can't That's drop it. that elbow at all, and she doesn't here. Watch this. Just maxed out. That's a tough shot to get. Even if you're standing in the angle as a defender, that's a, that's a sharp cutty. Here's Elsa. Nice pick up by Stockman. Oh, hammers that one. There's the power we were looking for. Yeah, Stockman brings it. Yeah. Strong. As you can see, she's very strong. Blocked by Kelly, nice pickup by Elsa. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> that's like a, that's a Betsy Flint kind of play, right? Isn't that what Shrek Betsy, I feel like Betsy used to do that all the time. So she took that of her, out of her old partner's book right there. I really like that though, you know? Keeps yeah. the defense on their toes for the rest of the match. It also is just tough. I mean, you're, you're playing a long rally and all of a sudden it's a quick play like that and it's, it's, a, it's a little frustrating when you're defending that and you're just like, man, I should have had that. I could have had that, but it's a good play. And, and if you do get it, you know, play. you know, yeah, you know that there's a lot of court for the other team to cover, so they're gonna have to make an unbelievable play to, yeah. to get it. They're gonna have to lay out. I like, I like the decision. Timeout taken by the Spanish side. So we got a little break there. You guys got to wander around. What'd you see? I watched the crab match. Nice. That was a good one. Yeah, Trevor finally got the best of Taylor. Yeah, I was checking payback. out the outside courts, just kind of browsing around, checking Ricardo out a little bit. Ricardo Oscar, they were looking really good um, against Billy and Ryan. I think they won that one. They were up 10-5 in the third when I left. Um, Mexico. Out there as well. Mexico and the U.S. had a battle. Yeah, on that. Casey. Casey and Stafford, 25-23, 21-19. And I watched uh, the Mexican team 
probably 10 minutes after the match was over, still just sitting on the bench, staring dumbfounded. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to go to an international event and take a 25th, which is what I think yeah. they took. It's tough. Uh, but that Mexico team there, really fun to watch. That we always have exciting matches against them. Super scrappy and athletic. Um, but that's a big win for Stafford and Casey. They they needed a, they needed a good win. Bad. Yeah. Also saw Case Beer and Pretty down 19-16 in the second set against the Sams from Canada. And, um, they made a couple big plays, came back, pushed it to three, and then ended up winning 15-13. Wow. That's a big that's a big comeback coming down 19-16. Pretty too, Pretty and Case Beer, they haven't had any really good finishes, so that's huge yep. for them too. Yeah, they need some points, they need uh, some experience. Yep. Nice shot over the top by Emily Stockman there. Reed and, uh, Reed and Case or Pretty and Case Beer, I think they practiced together once this yeah. week. Yeah, right, because Case Beer's in Brazil a lot. Yeah, he's looking good. He's uh, obviously mid-season mid form, so, but uh, such a physical guy. If you're playing in Brazil, you're always in mid-season exactly. form. <laughs> it's a great pickup by Emily Stockman, a beautiful set, and then a transition kill. And USA just needs to hold their nerve here down the stretch. If they can just play good side-out volleyball, they'll get out of set number one here. And you'd have to think that would be a really big win for this new team against a very experienced Spanish side. Definitely a big statement for these ladies if they can pull this out. Nice pickup again from Stockman. Great opportunity, no block. Big swing. Not sure why she dropped there, especially with the wind bringing the ball towards the net. But she did, and it was, and she paid for it. That was the end of that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Kelly. Okay, Kelly Larson. That's a big block right nice there. To seal that line. Yep. Check out this replay. Watch how far over she gets. That was nice. Such good press. Another pickup by Stockman. Great set. No one again. Oh. Huge error. Cannot give that one away. They might get away with it in set one here, but against better teams in the rest of the tournament, that those types of mistakes will be punished. Nice pickup by Fernandez. Soft shot, corner. Looking at the scores here out on the outer court. Cam, looks like your wife uh, took the first set. It's like uh, Carico Ledoux took the first set over Bo Borger Kozuc from Germany. Uh, I'm not sure why I would be interested in that one, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, yes, that's my wife playing. <laughs> she's, she's bringing Finding in the dough. Finding some good rhythm. Her and Caitlin haven't played much together, so it's, uh, it's nice to see. Another new partnership. That's the yeah. theme of the year. Yeah. Teams in the US, they flip flop, switch around a lot. <laughs> Kind of crazy. We gotta make a reality TV show about it. Yeah, seriously. Hey, there's Larson again. And that is Good set point, point here Larson. in set number one. Stockman. Team USA, one. Emily Stockman and Kelly Larson take care of business. They get the first set under their belt against Spain. Kelly Larson finishing it up with a big block there. All right, we'll be back with set number two in just a couple moments here on avp.com. for one thing and one thing only but somewhere between the spa appointments I realized something so good. There's, TV. there's more than one way to rejuvenate Welcome back to the AVP Huntington Beach FIVB four-star 
open events. About the one place in the world I would rather be in the Hawaiian Islands is right here on the beach in Huntington, looking at the water, looking at some amazing volleyball. Emily Stockman serving her and Kelly Larson took the first set over Lily and Elsa from Spain. Nice dig by Stockman and Kelly punches it down the line. Nice little pokey over the top there. Great dig and Kelly made a good shot out of that. Cam Schalkboy joining us here on the broadcast along with Tri Born. I'm Maddie Bishop. This is AVP.com. Thanks for listening, everybody. We've got great matches coming from Stadium Court, not only today, but Saturday and Sunday as well. Catch all the action as uh, Stockman makes a beautiful play. Larson. L I'm sorry, that's Kelly Larson made a play there. Look at that. Usually you don't Smart see the blocker. Play, yeah, yeah, you don't see the blocker making those plays. I love it. Big ace. start here. Service ace. Well, we've mentioned that this Spanish team has some ups and has some downs, and they're going to go right into a timeout down 0-3 here at the beginning of set number two. Uh, I was going to ask, what's the key to keeping momentum after a close first set to come out in the second set? But apparently, Kelly and Emily just showed us how that's done. A couple of defensive plays and get a big start. That's what you want to do after winning the first set. You know, you put a little more pressure on, and then you hope that they, you know, you just keep keep pushing through, give them no hope, basically. You can see a, um, a little frustration here yeah. from the Spanish team. And w when you do see that in your opponent, I think you just steady out. You know, don't give them errors. Put the ball on their side. Make them do something with it when they're feeling down and, and making errors and not playing all that great. Like Elsa and Lily are right now. I think you just keep it in and stay consistent yeah. until they make stay you do steady. something. A little better body language over sure. here in this bench. Seems like Kelly and Emily have have, you know, they, they haven't been playing together too long, but they seem like they have really good chemistry, very positive on the court. Yep. Uh, moving the ball around well, seems like they know where where each other are and where they want their sets. And, you know, that's such a big part in the game is, is having that chemistry and being able to trust your partner and, and, and know what you're getting. So it looks like it's a good start for this partnership. Stockman back to the line to serve. She's working on Elsa. And Larson gets the block. We'll give her credit for that one. Yeah, I don't know if she touched it, but she'll claim it for sure. Yeah, you call touch on that all day. I would, yeah. <laughs> Make sure the stat person knows that that you, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, she didn't touch it. <laughs> I think that she'll still claim so, it. That wasn't as close as we thought. All good. Also, again, nice pick up by Stockman. Great set. Hey. Oh, she bounces the line. That was a beautiful set, game. You were 100%. Yeah. The smart swing too, you know, when you know that you have that wind in your face, look at the flags coming right at her. Take yep. that swing deep into the corner. You know that the wind's gonna help you and make that ball die. Yeah, Kelly putting a ton of topspin on that ball. Just pushing it up in the wind. It just makes it so much easier to swing and transition when uh, when you roll it up like that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Elsa figures out the side out there. Short little shot over the top. Yeah, oh, the block. They're looking to find some momentum here. Get something going positive their way. Not sure where all the volleyballs have gone, but there appears to be one on stadium court now. <laughs> Stockman with the swing. Nice pickup. Lily, pick up by Emily Stockman. Nice set from Kelly. Comes Lily again, Fernandez over the top, pick up by Stockman. Here's when the legs are burning a little. Oh, nice and there play. it is, that's how you finish it. Great rally. <laughs> that was a crucial, crucial rally win by Spain. I mean, if you lose that rally, you got no momentum down 6-1, switching sides, now you're in it. Now you got 5-2, big play, you got the momentum. See how they uh, see how they respond from that. 6-1 is very demoralizing. Yeah, it's a little tougher, a lot tougher than 5-2. It's nice to turn around on a long rally as a blocker and see that your defender went over on one and put it down and ended it for you. And you see right there, you long rally win. There's gotta be some sort of stat. Uh, I would love to see a stat of when you win a when you win a super long rally, who wins that next rally. If you do score a point, I, I guarantee you the, the percentages go up huge. It's kind of like a point that's worth two. Yeah. And you get a little run like that, and now they're right back in it. 
Nice work there, great play over the top of the block by Elsa. I thought Kelly had her. She made a little change at the last second to go off speed and score. Yeah, I'd like to see the defense adjust a little more because that set died inside. I don't think she really, she didn't have any power hit to the line. Maybe yeah. not even a, a really good high line. So Stockman maybe could have cheated on it, but I think she expected uh, Larson to go cut that off. Yeah. Timeout from Larson and Stockman here. So we get all the team timeouts out of the way before we get to 10 total points. That's rare. Yeah, a couple runs early on. It's, it's just crazy how important it is. You get a swing to go up 6-1, you know, you get that swing, you, you want to put that away. And then you make a, Spain makes a great play to make it 5-2, like I just said, but it just changes everything. Now it's a completely new game. As you get higher and higher in level, how how much emphasis is put on consistency? Because we see teams doing great things in bursts, but it, when you get to the highest level, is it really just about who can be great the most? Hundred percent. I mean, you look at look at the AVP alone. You you got hundred teams in the qualifier. If you go watch these qualifiers, everyone can play. Everyone's good at volleyball. Tons of players in the U.S. can play, but if you can, if you can't do that for for two sets, full, full match straight, if you can't, if you give up a little run, you're done. Like it's, it's consistency is everything. Um, that's where you where you show where the players are great. I mean, the ones that are doing it consistently every day, every game, every practice, it changes everything. Elsa serving Stockman. Emily, big swing cross court. See, again, just not good reads, not paying attention to what the wind's doing. Look at this set. This is a perfect set. Yeah. No reason to drop. It's essentially just an error right set. there by yeah. Spain. Home sand advantage. She's, she's not reading that wind. That Well, the set's coming from off the net a little, so I think she's assuming that it's the ball's coming over the hitter's shoulder a little, so they'll lose vision. But when you have your partner talking and you drop really early, your partner's going to tell you that there's no one up. Plus, she put up a perfect set, so... Yeah, that's the it's kind of play you, where it doesn't matter where you are. You need to read the play better. It's 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 simple. Like, can't be letting things like that go happen. Going to Kelly now. Oh, nice shot by her. Elsa made the right pull on that one. Yeah, I think she uh, just, just got missed execute. it. Now that's a different situation because she pulled based on the fact that she thought Kelly was gonna was gonna shoot the ball. One before was completely early and, and gave too, many, too much opportunity for Emily to swing. Here's Elsa. A touch, got to go. Easy one, here's Elsa again. Yay! Hanging in there. Such a slim margin for error. You Yay! make that good play, you get that shot over but it's gotta be way better than that to score at this level. Stockman off the net a little bit down the line. Pick up by Lilly. Nice dig by Larson. There it is. Nice. Great setting in the wind there. Yeah. Not letting it drift onto the net. You're kind of aiming about five feet off the net, hoping that it blows to about three feet. And it uh, seems like Emily's doing it well. Yeah, that's one thing that if you're watching the stream, it's it's tough to really understand the wind, but it, it changes the game so much. You need to be so accurate, so precise with your movements, and you know it's just an adjustment every time the ball is coming to you. Kelly Larson serving. They're working on Elsa again. That time she missed fires. So Spain's on the bad side right now. If you're if you're thinking about playing with the wind, you'd rather be on USA's side because the wind's coming at you. Yeah, when you're on that good side, I always think it's it's very minimum you want to win that switch 4-3. If you're losing that switch at, at any level, right. you're going to be in trouble because the other team's going to the other side feeling confident. Hey, we just won that switch on the bad side. I'm going to go rip some serves. Right. It uh, you got to you got to hold steady. Spain with an opportunity get a point on their serve Ooh. here. Elsa takes care of that. Good high swing. It was a little tight, so it was, it was a battle at the net between the two. And the other thing, too, is when you do convert on the tough side, it almost feels like you converted twice because you're like, man, we just scored a point, earned a point on the tough right. side. Stockman again pulls Kelly all the way over to the pen to set. Had oh. a lot of court to work with and missed it. 
That's tough. Those are the worst. When you make the right read, everything's perfect, yeah. and then you just miss wide open court. A lot of positives to take from that, though. You see the court, you know you had it. It's it's just you gotta you gotta wipe that out right now and know that you're doing the right stuff. Just gotta finish now. Yep. Ooh, good touch. Bit of a break there. Finally, Emily gets one down. Gets USA back on top. Beautiful afternoon here. Nice way to spend a Friday in Huntington Beach. We got matches through. I think the last match starts at 4.30 today, maybe 5.30. Uh, shot soft one right at Kelly Larson. She does nice work digging it and then goes nicely down the line. Another missed opportunity for Spain there. Know the USA will go into the technical up. Will it be by one or by two? Emily Stockman at the service line. It'll be by one. This is going to be a huge win if uh, USA can pull this out here because just one of those young teams. Stockman's been grinding away kind of in that, that middle range uh, for a while now, and she's looking to make that push on the national team to that top tier. Larson's kind of been doing the same. She hasn't been on tour quite as long, but it feels like they're both individually ready to make that push. And now that they're together, I, I think they're putting themselves in good position. And this kind of win will definitely give them some momentum. Well, and if you look like a, you know, a decent finish at a four-star event is probably equal to or better than points-wise and money-wise, for that matter, a good finish at a one-star event or maybe even a two-star. Oh, for sure. Absolutely, for sure. Those one and two stars are kind of deceiving for fans. They're, they're, they don't, they're almost like a challenger used to be, you know? Like, yeah, it's, I almost wish they didn't like have them on the same yeah. type of schedule. It's more looked at as like sort of a North Seca that everyone can play in, right? Yeah. Something like that. Three stars kind of like the awkward middle zone. Four and five star, I get, they're like kind of like Grand Slams used to be. But like, it's just kind of a crazy system where I don't think the fans really understand exactly how it works a lot of the time. If you're going to win a one star, it's, it's not comparable to even getting a, even getting like a 17th at a five star isn't even, yeah. it's, it's a lot better getting a 17th at yeah, a five totally. star than it is winning one of these low level tournaments, you know? Right. So it's, yeah, it's all relative, I guess. So that makes an even bigger opportunity yeah. for Kelly and Emily here to, you know. Yep move up the points scale you start getting more points you start being able to qualify for more three four and five star events you start making a little more money granted there's not a lot of money in it but it's uh it's a big deal for a young american team like this to have the opportunity to play against an established um established tour team both from an experience level and from a uh progressing your career level stockman definitely also with the dig there. Oh, nice dig by Kelly in transition. Nobody. Emily picks up the option. Oh, wow, great plays. Great few, a few really good plays right there, starting with Kelly Larson's drop. Yeah, these girls are working hard. It's a nice set. Yeah, it, it, it was drifting tight, but yeah, I don't know why Good you pull enough. on that, but yeah, as the blocker, you gotta you stay. You almost wrap that, right? For sure, that you have advantage if that thing's blowing tight. You had the hitter going in with the poke shot, but Spain likes to drop. Nice shot over the top there by Elsa. Maybe that's a disadvantage of split blocking. Both players are now having to figure out that read and figure out that wind rather than one player getting comfortable with it. Yeah, I don't. I don't let them off that easy. It's, <laughs> it's pretty simple stuff, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Miss serve there. Spain's kind of hanging in there. See, uh, see if they can make a push here to try to get this game to three, but USA has been really consistent and steady. Okay. Oh, look at, no. What? No, oh. her fist was closed. Yeah, I don't think a ref had a good. Uh, he could, her back was to him. Yeah, I think it looked like that to him, but he didn't see the contact. Yeah, I know. We're sitting right in front of him, and right in front of us. It was a really heads up play. Check, check out the replay. You be the judge. Broadcast crew is not agreeing, contact. I don't think. 
from what I can under, from what I'm hearing from you guys. No, that's 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 up. We are livid up here. Oh yeah. And the block drops <laughs> again. 50-50 ball. In my opinion, that's blocker's advantage. Yeah. I mean, do it's it on to this be a side. Miraculous dig if you're pulling on that. If you're gonna do it, do it on this side like Larson's been doing. She'll drop on that side and stay on the on the good side. Americans up two, coming to the good side. They didn't they didn't do quite as well on the good side as they would have liked to last time around. Emily Stockman now at the service line wants to get him a couple real points here. It's a dig, that's a good way to Out. start. <laughs> Kelly might like to have that one back. Yeah, she you could tell she got a little excited. She committed to that. Early. You're also in a in a position where, you, as a team, they're they're pretty much touching every swing that that Spain has. So, worst case scenario, put it in play, and you're probably going to make a dig or a touch on the block. Nice shot That's, down the line. I mean, the way this game's been going, uh, I haven't seen a lot of clean kills from the Spanish girls, really. No, a line left. That's a really good shot. Impressed with Emily Stockman. She's she's been really solid in this game. Yeah, she's put in uh, put in the work on the World Tour too. She's been grinding away. Hasn't got the great finishes yet, but she's definitely put in the time, and she's due for a yeah. good one. Yeah, she's takes, a hard worker. Takes away that one there. Nice job by her and USA in the driver's seat. Set number two. Elsa. Also part B gets no. the kill. Spain when they're in rhythm, when they're passing and setting well, it seems like they're they're fine, like side out looks good, but right now they're just spraying a lot of balls. A lot of the passes are coming off the net, sets are kinda of going everywhere. Such I mean the most important things are the little the little touches that you can make. They're just not quite there today. Several miss serves down the stretch. Yeah. Stockman, gonna work on Elsa. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> Good discipline there. I like that. The ball kind of started drifting towards this sideline, closest to us. She didn't take the bait and go with it. She stayed her ground and she was either gonna get the block or funnel it to her defender. That went over the top, picked up by Stockman. She'll get a, so oh, she won't take the Net. swing. I'm not. That's an unforced error. Yeah, they don't, they don't look quite as explosive as we've seen them before, this Spain team. Not quite as dynamic. And it is match point. Emily Stockman and Kelly Larson, this is a big, big win for them if they pull it off. Ooh, and Kelly does is. it with an exclamation point. Spain has just seemed a little out of rhythm all match, not really clicking like they can. It's early in their season though, and, and I believe Lily, Lily had taken the year off last year. Uh, I believe she was having a baby, so um, you know it's going to take some time to come back from that as well. So they're they're going to be in for some some bigger bigger things ahead for sure. Difficult finish for them, a great finish, and an opportunity to make it even better for Kelly Larson and Emily Stockman.